Gentlemen, my name's Dave, and if you're on Stir Crazy in Lockdown, you can call me Davey Poo, the mobile music minstrel. How you doing? Hey, so the nice folks at Nimbrini reached out to me and said, hey, Dave, we're coming out with more awesome apps. Do you want to play with them? And I said, hell yeah, dude, because I love your apps. And you know what? Here we are. So I've got the new MRH810 uh, app by Nimbrini here, and basically, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a recreation of a, of a classic Marshall. It's like a JCM80 or whatever it is. I don't know the model number, but you know this amp. Everybody's played on this amp. This is like the classic rock amp. And I'm really psyched because this is the one I really wanted. In my previous video where I reviewed their other apps, you know, I don't really know much about Soldanos, but I know a lot about Marshalls because that's the sound that I really like. So let's check this thing out and uh, let's see how it sounds. All right, I'm going to put the output here. I have my... Gibson SG right here to play for you, and I'm going to try to not suck as bad as I did last time. So here we go. Uh, this is what it sounds like when you just open it up. Now, the only thing that I've changed here is I just goosed up the input, as you can see right there, a little bit, just to give myself a little more input gain, because as I've mentioned numerous times, the Behringer UMC 404 HD that I'm using as an interface has a very low output, so I'm using uh, the Nembrini amp to kick up the input here, but otherwise, here we go. <laughs> Classic Marshall sound straight out of the gate. I love this app right away. You know, it's got all the features that were in my previous Nembrini video. If you tap on the grill cloth here or up here at rack, you can get the uh, additional interface here that gives you the, uh, you know, the cabinets and everything, the mic and cabinet section, uh, the input gain. You've got a noise gate here. Turn that on and turns off the noise in the headphones. Uh, you know, all the usual controls that are on the amp. I'm not going to go through every single thing here. I want to keep this video short, and I want to get to the point. This amp just sounds phenomenal. You've got a lead channel. You've got a clean channel. Here's the clean channel for you. I mean, it sounds fine. You know, Marshalls were never known for their clean tone, so I, I you know... If it sounds a little weak, I disregard that as being a quality of the original Marshall amp, not necessarily this app. But man, that gain sounds fantastic. So, it's great. You should go get it. I'm going to leave that there and we're going to move on. Here's Delay 3000. This is the other app that they came out with recently. And uh, I'm going to switch the output here. This is, uh, again, modeled after a rack-mounted delay unit. I don't really know the model number. I can put it down in the description. But, again, it sounds great. These Nembrini apps take all the thinking out of creating guitar tones inside the iPad. The thing I've always struggled with, and I've said this numerous times, over the many years I've been using amp simulators, is that they don't always sound like the amp that they purport to sound like. Uh, you know, so a lot of times you kind of have to shut off your eyes and turn on your ears and really just go for the sound tone quality that you're looking for. Uh, you know, the Fender modeled amps don't always sound like Fenders, or at least not the Fenders that I've used, okay? But this, these apps, they sound so good. I, I don't even have to try. I don't have to tone search. Uh, it's just amazing how easy it is. <laughs> Let's try that again. I mean, that sounds really lush, and the ping-ponging between uh, is just great. Let's turn the mix up a little bit. Let's turn the repeats up a little bit. We'll do the time to... I'm going to go down. There we go. Okay, 
So I'm not really any better than I was last week, but you know, <laughs> that's what happens when you don't play guitar. Uh, so there's a few different sections here. We've got a delay section. We've got a saturation section. Okay, let's turn up some grit and some smear. Now that's awesome. Let's do some modulation. Let's do some tremolo. Man. Big, rich, bold, beautiful. They've got a filter in here. You've got ducking. Let's see if we can. Okay, so I'm trying to see how... Oh, it's not on. <laughs> that explains it. Ooh, that is sweet. Let's try this with it on this time. Let's turn the ducking off. Anyway, okay, clearly I'm moving fast, but clearly these apps are awesome. I mean, if you don't like it from the first few notes that you're hearing me play, I mean, despite the fact that the notes I'm playing suck, but if you don't like the quality of the tone, then you don't like it. If you do, you're going to move along with this app. Okay, let's go back to uh, the Marshall thing here. We're going to put it on clean because I want to show you two more apps of Nembrini's. Now, Nembrini has been very, very nice, and they gave me all sorts of apps, and they also released a whole bunch of apps for free, and that was what my last video was about. I liked all those apps so much that I went out and I bought these last two because they're awesome, and I love Nembrini, so I wanted to contribute. So... First thing we're going to do is we're going to run into their fuzz face copy here called fuzz. And let's run out here. Let's see how that sounds. So we're going to take that out of there and we're going to go just into the pedal and into this. So let's turn the pedal off. Okay. So let's hear the clean sound. And then let's turn on the fuzz. I mean... That sounds big and beefy. Okay, so let's turn up, let's turn the volume down. Let's turn up the input here. Okay, that's gonna help compensate for the, la okay. What has happened is I'm not running straight into the amplifier anymore. I'm running into the pedal first. So I have to turn up the input gain on the pedal to compensate for the turning up of the input gain that I used on the amp. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I hope so. Great, great, great. I love these apps so much. Again, plug and play. You plug right in, they sound fantastic. All right, let's go to the last one here. Let's go to Scream. We're going to go in. It's going to go in. All right, let's hear the clean sound again. Okay, now let's turn this on. Let's turn up the input gain. Again, now this is modeled after an Ibanez Tube Screamer. Okay, if you're familiar with this pedal, you're familiar with this pedal. It, Stevie Ray Vaughan was the one who made this uh, famous, but it's basically a gain booster. You know, it's a little bit of distortion, but it, what the way I've seen other guys use it that I've played with and the way I've used it myself is to really push your gain to make the amp gain sound that much richer. So let's try that here with Nembrini. Now we've got... 
that's what I've got going on into Nembrini. Now let's switch to Nembrini's lead channel. Turn on the noise gate. Turn the threshold. Up. Now let's see how much that added. You can make those artificial harmonics really scream. So, there's a quick blast through some of these Nembrini apps. I just love these so much. In fact, they're replacing my go-to. Tone Stack by Yonak was always my go-to, and, and Nembrini's bested them. I go for these every single time now. I really hope that they come out with a Fender emulator, like a Fender Twin Reverb. That would be that or an old, uh, like a Fender Champ, you know, one of those little 10-inch speakers that... Uh, that they had in the 50s. Those are the two that I I really love Fender Clean Tones. But I understand for PC, they just released a Mesa Boogie model. I imagine that's just as exceptional as these. So I can't recommend these highly enough. They just sound great. All you have to do is plug in. I hardly touched a thing. My guitar is wide open on the controls. So I'm not doing anything fancy uh, and clearly il illustrated by my guitar playing. So I think you should go get these apps. I love Nembrini. Thank you guys for sending me these. This stuff is amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Sorry for tripping over my tongue, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time.